Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you've had a great Christmas and New Year. Time to get back into things. So in this video, I want to talk to you about the weird weather that we're having at the moment and what on earth is happening and what can you do about it? What can you do with your lawn outside, etc. during these times? So let's get started. Before I get to that, I just want to just say, show you a couple of things what I've been up to um, over the last week or two. We had Christmas and you know what it's like, a couple of days after you've had Christmas, you start getting itchy feet and you just want to get outside and start doing things. Nothing worse than being stuck inside all that time. Yep, it's great to spend time with the family, but when the kids are playing with the toys, you've got to be doing something. That's just me. I can't sit still. So what I did, um, I got the pressure washer out um, a few days ago and I've done all of the front. I'm going to show you now. As you can see there, this was literally you couldn't see this it was like black black brown it was just disgusting so it's all been cleaned all out of the front all of the driveway and we've done under the carport there and we've done around the back as well so let me take you around there so i'm coming through to the back now just want to show you what i've done out here so i'm quite proud of it it looks pretty good so again just a good pressure washer i bought a new one it's a still 150 is it R E R L 150 it's around 2000 psi i'm impressed it's literally two or three times faster than the little domestic thing i've been using for quite some time so i was really pleased managed to get most of the back garden done within a few hours um and the the rest of the path took a little bit longer anyway so just to show you there jet wash it all in there and all of the patio got a, a good jet wash as well down the side there and you can just see the path going all the way up which i'll show you you see that there yeah it makes you feel better doesn't it makes you feel better when things are nice and clean so that's that so let's talk about lawns let's talk about crazy weather before we get to that if you like this video please give me one of them. Please pop your comments below. What are you doing in your garden now? What are you doing outside? I just want to show you one more thing before we get to the grass. So, uh, rather than sitting in the house, I came out yesterday around, I don't know, half past three, something like that. Probably got half an hour of daylight. So I just got into that border there. And look at it. Look at the crazy weather. We've got bulbs coming up. We've got things coming up there. It's absolutely nuts. So it's pleasing. It makes you feel better. Um, I've still got this border to do and a couple of tubs just to clean out the dead from there. But yeah, that's where we're at. So what's been happening? We're having some weird, wild and wonderful crazy weather, aren't we? We're in winter and we've been having days at 10 11 12 13 point 15 degrees today yesterday cold four degrees <sighs> it's not good but this is fairly typical now i expect it to be more like this more often hang on are you there is that better so um when you get those nicer weathers and those nicer temperatures you see people cutting the grass and you think it's just like spring it's like springtime, isn't it? In the middle of winter. And it shouldn't be like this. So the world's gone upside down. Don't get me started on that. Um, and I started thinking I could be doing lawn renovation, scarifying, aerating, overseeding and top dressing. And I need to. We have got a list, really long list of customers that want the lawns renovating and overseeding in spring. And it's going to be absolutely a mad rush to try and get them all done. We always struggle every single spring. But if I knew we'd got, say, four weeks of reasonably good weather, and as long as it's over seven degrees and the grass is actively growing, I'd be tempted. But it's the risk of frost. It's the risk of frost what stops me. Trust me, I keep looking at the long range weather forecast. This week, we're getting up to about eight or nine degrees towards the end of the week. So it's a bit in miss. Seeding for now, forget it. If I get see a period where there's two or three weeks and it looks fairly decent, I may just take a punt. I may just take a risk. You can't always go by the calendar. You can't go by the actual date. You can't. 
you look at the temperatures and you look at what's happening and that is what you base your findings on but don't forget seed needs a good two to four weeks to germinate and come through depending on the seed type and whether you've got shade and other factors and things like that so it's very hard to predict the possibility of getting nice continual nice weather for about two to four weeks especially in winter so hold off on seeding that said i've had customers put seed down in uh november and december and it's come through so what can you do let's have a look so this is my lawn at the moment all it's had on is a bit of iron and a bit of seaweed on that is it i've mowed it maybe three times over the past three weeks four weeks at the most um i could go over it again the ground is actually quite firm when you walk on it it actually feels firm underfoot there are no wet squeaky soggy patches and there's just a bit of rubbish on there because i was pressure washing and a lot of it came up onto the grass that's why it looks a bit uh, manky at the edges as you can see there not good but it'll come back a bit of frost on that actually so that laid over with the pressure washer and it stayed in that position and it's it got a bit frosty overnight so it's quite firm but once it dries out that'll bounce back up but it's not looking too bad it's not looking too bad at all it's still green <laughs> so what i'm suggesting things that we can do now is continue applying iron maybe once a month once every five six weeks something like that a bit of seaweed same sort of ratio you can put it down on the same day and that is pretty much it for now you can put some humic acid on if you wish but as a bare minimum just get some iron on your lawn it will just help to green it up and it will just um, control any moss in the lawn and just keep it a reasonable sort of condition um, just to help the plant through winter because it's actually classed as a turf hardener what I would like to do, like I said, um, is to, well, I want to reseed all of this. I want to reseed down this edge here because it's thinned out because of the tree and the shrubs. We can see there, that's where the sun is at that line there. So if I could bring the shrubs down to that sort of level, but at the moment there's no real fence behind there. So we'd have to get a whole new fence put in. So that's the issue I've got. The only thing I can do is maybe take a third a third off the tree um the shrubs and bring them down to to a certain level so we've still got a bit of privacy um but in the same breath we're letting a bit more sunlight in that's my predicament so what else what else can we do one more thing i want you to think about fertilizer okay in the hole people say don't chuck any fertilizer on your lawn in winter and they're absolutely correct you don't want to be pushing nitrogen in winter when it's cold and there's no sunlight about or very little sunlight about if it does start growing really fast with the nitrogen and we get some few nice days of sun but then it starts to get wet again you're going to struggle to get out and get the mower on because it's wet so in the same breath we did have a lot of rain about three or four weeks ago continuous rain for at least a week and it leached a lot of the nutrients in the grass down through the ground so the grass was under stress get some fertilizer on but you don't want a high nitrogen fertilizer you want either a balanced fertilizer in which case just put a half dose on or you want an autumn fertilizer on which is more into the uh, phosphorus and potassium rather than nitrogen. So you've got N, P and K, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. They all do different things. You want one where the nitrogen is lower and you can go slightly higher on the other two. Um, roughly, that's, that's the rough science of it without going into it too deep. So that's it. That is all I wanted to say to you today. Um, there are things you can do in your garden you can still get out you can get all your tubs ready you can clean them out it is cold but do you know what i've got my uniform on i've got a t-shirt on jumper on i've got a thermal top on and this thermal top's brilliant it's just like a little vest long sleeve vest and it makes such a big difference get a little woolly hat to go on and you're laughing honestly you can be outside it's absolutely fine um 
but yeah you can get all your borders done get all your plants done get everything ready for spring so that when as soon as them flowers start thinking yay it's springtime let's go for it you can get them planted up can't you so like i say the only thing that's stopping me from putting any seeds down in the ground is frost everything else is telling me hmm, maybe maybe i'd be tempted to give it a go if it were a bit later on in the year but crazy that it's january and we're in winter so for now it's a no-no okay nothing to stop you trying and i dare say some grasses will survive and some grasses will come through and some grasses will be just fine but a lot won't and that's the problem the percentage that do and don't you just can't you just can't decide that if we get a lot more heavy rain it's going to literally um upset the balance of what grass needs so air rain and nutrients sunlight rain and nutrients pretty much so um if there's not much sun then the grass will struggle if there's too much water too much rain then you've got an imbalance on the what it needs so it's getting too much of one thing and that is a problem that is why it struggles and that's why you get grass that rots and thins and if there's not enough sun because you have the shade then guess what happens grass thins and this will do this every single year and then when the sun comes back into spring it will start to pick up and start to recover but it will be a little bit thinner than it was last autumn so it's a case of overseeding every single spring there's no point in overseeding in autumn if you've got a shaded lawn because you're going to be going into periods of more shade which is just going to thin it out right guys let me know in the comments what you are doing with your lawns right now i'd love to hear about it let me know what you're doing in your gardens um it's just just for sanity more than anything um it's just sitting in the house is depressing i think all right see you on the next one